forward. Hello, everyone, and thank you again for joining us another uh, edition of Meet the Staff um, with the CEO. Today, I have Matt. Uh, I'm also Matt, so not to be confused, but uh, welcome, Matt. Good morning. Oh, it's nice to meet you. All right, great. So, uh, Matt, you've been with us for just over three months, uh, so thanks for joining the team. You're doing great. We're happy to have you here. Um, why don't you just take a quick second to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, not much to say, really. Um, I was uh, born in this area, but I grew up, up uh, all up and down the East Coast. Um, my father takes his job, so I grew up uh, Maryland, North Carolina, Georgia, Massachusetts, and then eventually we settled here after when I got to high school. When I went to college upstate in uh, Wilkes-Barre, and uh, then after that, I started working for a real estate company, and now I'm working here. Excellent. Well, like I said, it's, we're super happy to have you here, so thanks. All right, so now we get into the really fun part, and um, I have 10 questions um, that we're going to surprise you with, and these have been written to by your peers here at the uh, company. So uh, you can't hold me responsible for any of them. So <laughs> with, uh, with no further delay, we're going to dive right into the first one. What is the weirdest food combination you enjoy eating? Food combination that I enjoy eating. Uh, let's see. I would say the weirdest thing I enjoy eating is... <laughs> I once had a giant bowl of scorpion peppers and I ate them with barbecue sauce. All right. Well, that's Just plain got raw all... fresh peppers with barbecue sauce. That has all kinds of problems written all over it. But thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> all right. Good, good. So uh, number two, what is your idea of the perfect day? My idea of the perfect day is a day where I don't have to listen to anyone tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So that's uh, but a... I would say I probably would be in someplace tropical and I'd probably start with um, all of my cocktails would probably involve tequila except for ice cream, which would involve uh, rum. Well, that's uh, that's another weird combination. Back to question one. So, All right. Good. Um, so question number three, if you had to go out right now and get a tattoo, what would it be? I would probably get a tattoo of, um, that's a good question. I'd probably get, uh, well, my gamer background is going to come in here, but I'd probably get the hunter's mark from Bloodborne on my thigh. All right, good, good. All right, so this is actually an appropriate question since we're both named Matt, and uh, now I can call you something different. What is your nickname? I actually used to go by my pen name, which is Nick, N-I-C-K. Uh, right. It's just something you always like to have when you're a writer because uh, you might be published in something you don't necessarily want other people to know about. Got and it. so uh, I actually went pretty hardcore with the full name. I said my name was Nikolai Alexandrovich Dranin, and then I went by Nick for short. All right, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go with Nick. That's what I'm going to start calling you now. So good, good. Anybody that calls in, you can also feel free to call him Nick. Um, <laughs> what fictional character would you most likely be friends with? Uh, I would most likely be friends with Sherlock Holmes. Ah, that's a great one. I like that one. Good. Um, what brings you the most joy? I think what brings me the most joy is when, um, I'd say if I meet someone and have a pleasant, if ultimately unforgettable, uh, well, forgettable encounter, and then two weeks later, I meet them again, and they're just charmed, and they remember everything uh, awesome. that we had, and it's like, oh, that's, it makes you smile and it makes you remember them more. That's great. Good. All right. Number seven. If you had to live as an animal for one year, which one would you choose? I would probably choose a gorilla. For one, they don't eat people, unlike <laughs> what a lot of people think. And two, they're usually very solitary. So they can actually go by their, go off by themselves and uh, be, and uh, I could probably do my own thing. I'm right. not really much of an animal person. All right. Excellent. Uh, what is the least amount of money you would accept to swallow a dead worm? The least amount of money I would accept? Yes. Well, I did that as a child on a dare, so probably nothing. Oh, I'm going to go find a worm. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, all right. Uh, if money were no object, what outrageous luxury would you add to your house? Uh, well, first I would get a house because I don't have one yet, but <laughs> if I was going to get something like that, 
I would want a room with stained glass windows. Just uh, all stained glass. All stained glass, different colors. I could pick. I could pick the design later, but it would have to be at least twelve. All right, good. You faded a little bit there, but can you? Are we still connected, Matt? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So uh, this is again a very appropriate question as we enter the first day of fall today. What is your favorite season of the year and why? Well, I'm actually a huge fan of the Christmas season. Uh, just, um, I know it's not the exact answer, but for one, my birthday's in that season. And for two, I just love how festive everything is. I don't like the music, but I love like the festive atmosphere and everyone is all smiles. It's one of my favorite things. Awesome. Uh, that's my favorite time of the year as well. And it's not a season, but it's got winter and I like it all. So <laughs> that's great. Hey, Matt, you've been a great sport. Again, thanks so much for being part of the team here at Pegasus. We look forward to spending many years with you. Um, thanks again. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah.